ஆழ்வார் எம்பெருமானார் ஜியர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் ஜியர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் டுடே இஸ் கார்த்திகை மந்த் கார்த்திகை நட்சத்திரம் திஸ் இஸ் தி திருநட்சத்திரம் டே ஆஃப் திருமங்கை ஆழ்வார் வி ஹவ் ஆல்ரெடி என்ஜாய்டு ஹிஸ் லைஃப் அண்ட் க்ளோரிஸ் இட் இஸ் ஆல்சோ தி திருநட்சத்திரம் டே ஆஃப் நம்பிள்ளை எ கிரேட் ஆச்சாரியா இன் அவர் ஸ்ரீ வைஷ்ணவ சம்பிரதாயம் Let us now enjoy his life and glories. Before going into the topic, I would like to highlight one point. All our Alvars and Acharyas have wonderful history and a lot of glories. Some some of the acharyas history is lengthy while others history may be short we are trying to cover the life and glories of alvars acharyas each one of them in about 15 minutes or so in this short duration we may be able to cover the important incidents but we won't be able to cover all the incidents in their lives so our request is please visit our website koil.org k o y i l .org where we have detailed history along with wonderful incidents in the lives of alvars and acharyas documented in multiple languages now let us look at nambillai's life and glories nambillai was born in a town called nambur when he was born he was named varadaraja his town nambur is across srirangam on the other side of river kaveri he would visit srirangam regularly and he would attend the lectures given by nanjiyar who was the presiding acharya of our sampradayam and who was conducting our sampradayam from srirangam Nanjiyar has given a wonderful commentary for Thiruvai Mori named Onbadanaira Padi, 9000 Padi. He was once looking for someone to neatly write the same in fresh palm leaves. He had the original copy of the commentary and he wanted that to be copied into Nanjiyar. fresh palm leaves in a nicer way when he was asking around for someone who will be capable to do that sri vaishnavas in his goshti identifies nambur varadarajan as capable in writing nicely neatly in palm leaves Nanjiyar talks to Nambur Varadarajan and finds out that he will be eager to do that kankariyam if Nanjiyar wishes for that. Nanjiyar then teaches Thiruvai Modi fully to Nambur Varadarajan and also gives the original copy of the commentary to him nambur varadarajan tells him that tells nanjiyar that he will go to his native town make a copy of the commentary and bring it back he starts going towards his town 
walking across the river. Suddenly, flash floods occur in the river. He immediately ties all the palm leaves in his upper cloth and keeps the bundle on his head and starts swimming against the flood to cross the river. He reaches the other side of the shore, but in the process, he loses the bundle of palm leaves, which had the original copy of Nanjiyar's Thiruvayamudi commentary. Nambur Vardajan became very upset, but he was fully dependent on Nanjiyar, Purvacharyas and Nammalva. Meditating upon them, he starts writing the commentary and completes the same. He then brings the commentary to Nanjiyar and submits him, submits to him humbly. Nanjiyar reads through the commentary. He finds that it is the same as what he taught to Nambur Vardarajan and also what he had in the original copy. But it is very much enhanced with beautiful explanations which are additional than what he had given. Nanjir asked Nambur Vardarajan what happened, why is it changed like this? Nambur Vardarajan explained what happened to Najir, hearing which Najir becomes amazed. Najir very much appreciates Nambur Vardarajan's total dedication, sincerity, and at that time calls Nambur Vardarajan as Nambillai. After Najir ascending to Parampadam, Nambillai goes on to lead the Sampradayam. Nambillai's time in Sri Rangam was most joyful for Sri Vaishnavas. He was leading the Sampradayam to great height during his time. His lectures on Divya Prabandham, specifically Tiruvayamudi, were most famous. There was even a saying at that time, Nambirumal Goshtiya, Nambillai Goshtiyo. That means there would be huge crowds to see the procession of Nambirumal Sri Ranganatha. Similarly, there will be huge crowd to attend the lectures of Nambillai. He was usually seated in the eastern side outside the Sri Ranganatha Sanidhi, Periyaparamal Sanidhi in Sri Rangam, where the divine seat of Periyaparamal is located. His lectures were so great that even Periya Perumal himself once tried to stand up from his reclining position and see through the entrance to see how Nambilla is delivering his lectures. There was a Kaikaryapara guarding Periya Perumal. He looked at Periya Perumal trying to stand up and pushed him back into his Adi session and tells him, you should not move in the archa form, you should remain in the same position. And Periya Perumal accepts his Kaikiryapara's request. In this manner, Nambilis lectures were so famous. Specifically, his Tiruvayamudi lectures 
were so amazing. In fact, Nambule has contributed in most of the commentaries for Thiruvaimudi. The first commentary for Thiruvaimudi was written by Thirukuruhai Piran Pillan based on the orders of Emperor himself. It was called as Araira Padi, 6000 Padi, Padi is a count. The second commentary was written by Nanjiyar based on the orders of Parashara Bhattar, Nanjiyar's Acharya. This commentary was known as Onbadanaira Padi and we have already seen Nambullai rewrote this based on the orders of Nanjiyar. The next commentary for Thiruvai Mudi was written by Periyavachan Pillai, a great Acharya who has compiled commentaries for all the Divya Pravandams. Based on the lectures heard from Nambillai, Periyavachan Pillai, on the orders of Nambillai, compiles an elaborate commentary. It was named Irbati Nalaira Padi, 24,000 Padi. So this commentary is also influenced by Nambillai. The most relishable commentary for Thiruvayamari was documented by Vadakku Thirivedi Pillai, who is another dear Sishya of Nambillai. As Nambillai was delivering lectures on Thiruvayamari, every day Vadakku Thirivedi Pillai would document them. Nambillai was not aware of Vadaka Thirivedi Pillai's efforts. At the end of the lecture series, Nambillai comes to know about this commentary which was compiled by Vadaka Thirivedi Pillai. Initially, he was upset with Vadaka Thirivedi Pillai, but on seeing the content, Nambillai becomes greatly joyful. Vadaka Thirivedi Pillai had documented everything in detail as explained by Nambillai. This commentary is known as Eidu Muppatthi Araira Padi, Eidu Maha Vyakyanam. The final commentary for Thiruvaimari was written by Vadi Kesari Aragiya Manavara Jiyar, who is a Shishya disciple of Periyavachan Pillai. This commentary is a word by word explanation of the Thiruvai Mudi Pasurams. And is known as Paniraira Padi, 12,000 Padi. Obviously, this also has the connection of Nambillai because Periyava Chanbillai is a Sishya of Nambillai and he is the one who taught the meanings of Thiruvai Mudi to Vadikesiri Arigamanwara Jiyar. Thus, four out of five commentaries, major commentaries for Thiruvai Mudi had the contribution of Nambillai. Nambillai was greatly eloquent in both Sanskrita Vedantam and Tamil literature and Tamil Prabandham. Often in his lectures, he would quote many shlokas from Sri Ramayanam and correlate to the 
incidents explained in the pasuram his deep knowledge in both sanskritam literature grammar and tamil literature and grammar helped him explain very deep principles eloquently and this brought many disciples to nambillai many great acharya purushas who were present in sri rangam became disciples of nambillai kandadai thodappar a descendant of mudali andan was in charge of administration in sri rangam temple initially he was little bit jealous about nambillai's fame once in front of periya perumal when nambillai was performing mangala shasanam to periya perumal kandadi thodappar scolds nambillai that he was delaying the procedures nambillai did not speak a word he just left the place quietly in the evening kandadi thodappar returns to his home and there his dharmapatni his wife was very upset that he scolded nambillai who is such a great acharya after her explanations kandadi thodappar realizes his mistake it was late in the night he decides to go and beg for forgiveness from nambillai he comes out of his house and starts walking but in the dark he sees there was somebody waiting at his entrance when he asks who it was the person said i am nambillai kandadi thodappar was shocked nambillai says i somehow caused you to scold me i must have done some mistake please forgive me hearing this kandadi thodappar becomes very amazed at the great humility of nambillai and at once falls at nambillai's feet and says you are the only person who is qualified to be called as lokacharya the acharya of the universe because you have such great humility to beg for forgiveness when you have not committed a mistake and from then onwards kandadi thodappar becomes a close disciple of nambillai and learns all the principles from nambillai nambillai also famously becomes to be known as lokacharya from that incident another acharya coming in the lineage of kurathalwan named naduvil trivedi pillai butter also had a little bit of jealousy towards nambillai but on realizing nambillai's greatness he also becomes a disciple of nambillai in this manner nambillai had many wonderful sishyas his conversations with both his acharya nanjiyar as well as many of his disciples were so amazing when wise men have discussions it benefits everyone once few sri vaishnavas come and ask nambillai you seem to have become lean is there anything wrong with your health and nambillai says there is nothing wrong with my health it is a natural process when knowledge develops when knowledge grows once atma grows and the body 
veins the body shrinks another time some sri vaishnavas come and ask nambillai you seem to be very weak are you doing okay health wise and nambillai replies to them i have enough strength to perform mangala shasanam to embermon and alvas and acharyas i am not going to a battle to be so strong i have enough strength in this way his answers and replies are most practical and most thoughtful there are many such incidents like this finally let us see how periyavachan pillai the great scholar explains the greatness of nanji nambillai in periya tirumuli yele yadalan padigam there is a pasaram which starts with odu vaimayam it explains about sandipani muni who taught krishna in gurukula in that pasaram sandipani is said as andanan urvan that means the unique distinguished brahmana acharya here periyavachan pillai writes commentary for this particular phrase and he quotes how an acharya should be and he says nambillai is that acharya he says an acharya would first have heard dvaya maha mantram clearly from his acharya understand its purport then he will learn itihasas and puranas and then he will learn nyaya mimamsa etc to debate with those who belong to other philosophy who come and raise objections to our philosophy and after doing all of this he will spend the true acharya will spend all his life in divya prabandham only having known that divya prabandham fully talks about emberman and his qualities and his activities and so on and periyachan pele says here that an acharya like nambillai who has perfectly mastered all of these explained aspects is the only one who can teach others about this bhagavad vishayam properly such is the greatness of nambillai we have enjoyed his greatness a little bit we have seen a glimpse of it let us fully focus on his divine feet and pray for total humility and acharya bhakti for us also alvar emberumana jiya tiruvadigale sharana jiya tiruvadigale sharana please download our koil k o y i l app from google play store or apple app store to listen to or download upanyasams like these our website portal is k o y i l .org koil.org